Hello guys, this is Mahesh back with you with an another tutorial on what's new in Windows 10 Insider Preview build number 4986 also known as Redstone pre-release version. This update was released yesterday and just now I updated the I updated my daily daily driver laptop. Um, let me see what are all the new features available in this version. The major updates to this version comes via the Cortana. Now Cortana is able to shut down or sleep or lock your computer. Now let's try locking the laptop first. Hey Cortana, lock my computer. Locking your computer. As you can see, Cortana successfully locked the computer. Now I am logging in. And, uh, by this way, Cortana can able to shut down or sleep your laptop also. Um, another update to the Cortana is now Cortana can able to pause or resume your music. Um, let me play a song using Groove Music, the Windows 10 music player. Um, okay, now the song is playing. Now I can just call upon Cortana. Hey Cortana. Hey Cortana, pause the music. Cortana successfully paused the music. Now we'll try to resume the music. Hey Cortana, resume the music. Hey Cortana, resume the music. As you can see, Cortana can is able to be successfully resume the music for us. Another advantage to Cortana is, even when the screen is locked, now Cortana is able to work flawlessly. Hey Cortana, what is the temperature now? It's currently 84 and partly sunny. As you can see, Cortana is working in lock screen with the full full screen. So. In the previous creators update, Cortana doesn't used to work in full screen. With the red, with the Redstone pre-release version, Cortana is able to be running in full screen without no problems. Let me log in. The next advantage is that now Cortana can able to log in using Microsoft Azure Active Directory accounts. Previously, Cortana can only be used to log in using Outlook accounts, but now Microsoft has added an option to use the Azure account for Cortana. And another option in our devices section is now users can able to add the, add the cloud printers, that is their enterprise printers in their Azure Active Directory. So previous versions, this is not available in devices and printers. Mm, the next advantage in this update is game bar. Mm, I don't have currently installed any games. Mm, what it does is that you can use full screen games. Mm, as, as I stated uh, previously in Xbox games app, mm, um, games cannot use the full screen feature but now uh, with this update, uh, 10 or more games can be used in full screen mode. The games that support the full screen mode is given in the given in the description below. Go ahead and check the link and you can find the list of games that support the this feature. Next feature is Windows Ink Screen Sketch. So let me activate the Windows Ink Workspace button by right clicking on the taskbar and then selecting windows ink workspace button so the workspace icon came back and let me select the windows ink workspace and let me select the screen sketch so i am now drawing our channel name mahi text mahi text and now if i close it and again the next time I open the screen sketch, a new screen sketch will open. Now there is an option to able to restore the previously drawn sketch using the 
restore resume previous button so we can just you know resume that mahi takes and then draw draw over draw over the screen sketch next the edge browser has an few got a new few extensions let me show you one of the main extensions is truekey truekey is developed by intel for microsoft edge where it can it can able to store many passwords for your gmail evernote and your online accounts and you can just simply sign in by using your thumb impression that is fingerprint or using the face recognition um it can be used only on laptops that support fingerprints and then face recognition the next uh, advantage is that in, uh, the, in this version of windows um, the new defender is being introduced um, i i go ahead and type windows defender and i can just see trusted windows store app this is the new interface for the windows defender app where it shows virus threat protection and then firewall protection and then family options what happens is that this this app gives the minimalistic look to the windows defender but yet you know there are not much features in in this app you can see as the settings button doesn't work here and some flaws are in this windows defender app Mm, same time the old traditional windows defender is also still here mm, but this this makes more sense by being uh, materialistic and looking pleasant to the eyes mm, i hope you guys have enjoyed this video feel free to share your comments below if you like the video please press the like button and uh, and subscribe to my channel mahitex as always Thank you guys have a great day